Thanks for joining me again today on the My Bourbon Journey Whiskey Review Channel. Today we dive into Down Home Straight Bourbon Whiskey's Batch 1 Toasted Barrel Finish. This is coming in at 110 proof or 55% ABV. It is non-chill filtered. A mash bill on this is 75% corn, 21% rye, 4% malted barley, and it is a sourced uh, bourbon from MGP. Uh, it is non-age stated, but I was able to verify that the whiskey is about five years or five and a half years old. So uh, getting into that decent age for a, a bourbon. And the MSRP on this was right around that $95 uh, price point. So why don't we kind of get into the uh, review? We'll get into the, uh, into the color here. So as you can see, really nice kind of deep amber copper type of color. And again, as always, a couple of things. Move the whiskey around in the glass, introduce a little bit of air to it. Uh, generally speaking, that will improve or help to improve the, uh, the profile of the whiskey. And second, you get to see kind of the oily factor to it. So it is nice and oily on the glass. It's coating it actually really well. I don't know if it's picking up uh, on there or not, but um, some really nice uh, oils. And again, non-chill filtered. So it's, it's leaving all again, those fatty acids uh, some of those things in there, which ultimately will translate uh, over to the palate. So, all right, let's get into the uh, into the nose. Oh boy! So right away, a nice medium oak. And before I kind of get into the review, I will say this. So I've had this bottle now open for about a month and a half, maybe two months. And as you'll see throughout the review, the one thing I'm going to say, like right away, is with this bourbon let this one open up give it some time if you get one of these uh, batches try it see what you think but you will be rewarded down the road once this whiskey kind of opens up so with that being said so let's go ahead and we'll kind of get back into the uh into the nose so again right away nice oak presence to it and that toasted barrel aspect so you know, you're starting to pick up again some of those to that toasted marshmallow, like even like a light, like a dusty chocolate type of note. Um, and I guess maybe even a little bit of like a like a coconut type of, of note to it. And again, these are kind of typical traits of what you get with that toastedness in terms of what it brings out of the barrel and is introduced into the whiskey. So a lot of times you do get that that toasted marshmallow that kind of like burnt marshmallow, something along those lines. Um, maybe even a little bit of like a campfire type of, of note to it. Nice spice to it, really nice spice there. Again, it's a higher rye, 21% rye. Really creamy vanilla there. Light cinnamon note. Again, some of those brown or burnt sugar uh, notes. Again, that's probably some of the toastedness to it. Very buttery, there is this buttery aspect to it. Even um, a little bit of like a, like a dark fruit, like the, the plums, the cherry. Oh man. And, and some of that, I guess I'll kind of even mix this in there, kind of like a, a burnt toast. And again, that's probably part of the, the coconut, kind of some of the, uh, the, the burnt marshmallow, the toasted marshmallow. So you get a little bit of that that campfire s'mores aspect to it, so to speak. All right, more importantly, let's, uh, let's see how this one tastes. Cheers. So immediately, again, nice mouthfeel, coats the palate really well, nice spice, really nice rye spice forward, like immediately like right on the front, mid palate, really kind of just explodes in your mouth. Rich, creamy vanilla, that burnt toast, that marshmallow, that burnt marshmallow aspect to it. A little bit of like a campfire aspect to it. A little bit of milk chocolate, like a, almost like a powdery type of chocolate. Like a, I guess like a Nestle's Quick, something like that. Very like s'mores, like, with that like kind of that dusty chocolate note. Even a little bit of a, a citrus that I wasn't getting necessarily on the nose. A little bit of citrus kind of came through. Maybe a little bit of that orange, uh, orange um, citrus on this one. A 
Yeah, so with this, this was the reward that you got with this. And my experience kind of with down home itself is that if you allow these some time to open up, you ultimately will get to, I think the profile that they were looking to hopefully inter hopefully introduce to, to everybody. Again, that, that just fantastic toasted marshmallow, coconut, that dusty chocolate, a little bit of that orange citrus that's there, nice spice to it. Um, that vanilla custard note to it. Yeah, it's just, it's a really f well balanced, layered bourbon, I would say. Um, I like the fact that they're trying this kind of toasted barrel, um, you know, influence with their whiskeys. And I think they're also gonna be before too much longer. This is the first part of July when I'm recording this of 2020. I think they're batch two of this may be coming out pretty soon. And I think they're also gonna be introducing a barrel strength rye and a toasted barrel uh, rye. So Down Home is really starting to kind of push the envelope a little bit, starting to do some kind of interesting things. But I've been a fan of theirs um, kind of since the beginning. I like what um, what Robert's doing over there with, with the brand. So going back to the whiskey, finish wise, again, I think you've got that kind of this lingering, you know, maple syrup even kind of that's that's really starting to develop now that I wasn't getting necessarily before there's this kind of maple uh, aspect to it nice toasted marshmallow those burnt sugars and maybe that sugar is now kind of converting over to that like maple aspect nice lingering spice not much dryness to it at all medium oak presence some a little bit of that um, that orange zest that's there that kind of light dusty chocolate note. So for me, I think it's a really nice balanced, um, you know, bourbon. And again, as I said early on in the video, I think this is one that you have to allow it time to, to open up and really kind of develop because admittedly when I first tried it, I wasn't getting nearly the flavors that I've been getting, you know, over the past maybe week or so. And I knew that this was something that I needed to allow time and hope it would kind of develop. And it definitely did that. It really just rounded, um, it just really rounded out in terms of the overall flavor profile. So again, if this is what they were really going for, they kind of did a really nice job with, with this uh, particular whiskey. And again, I'm always interested to keep an eye on what Down Home is doing and, and producing, um, you know, and putting out in the market, so to speak. So with that being said, so thanks again for tuning in to another one of my reviews. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you'd like to help support the channel, you can through my Patreon page, which I'll have linked in the description below. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, all of those places at My Bourbon Journey. And remember, it's about the journey and not the destination. Cheers. <laughs>